The next arithmetic operation is octal multiplication. In first example, we have to multiply 7 to by 1 to and like normal multiplication, we have to first multiply 7 to by this 2 and then we have to multiply 7 to by this 1. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and in octal number system, base or radix is equal to 8. So we have 0 to 7 different digits and 4 falls in this range. So 4 is an acceptable value. 2 multiplied by 7 is 14. 14 is not an octal number. So we have to break 14 like we did in octal addition. 1 multiplied by 8 plus 6. 1 multiplied by 8 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. So 6 will come here and 1 will go as carry and finally we have 1, 6, 4. Now I will multiply 7, 2 by 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. We are writing our results from this position because Weight of this position is 8 raised to power 0. Weight of this position is 8 raised to power 1. And when you multiply this 1 by 2, we have 1 multiplied by 8 raised to power 1. Weight of this position multiplied by 2 multiplied by 8 raised to power 0. Weight of this position 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. And 8 raised to power 1 multiplied by 8 raised to power 0 is 8 raised to power 1. So this result will go to column number 2 having weight 8 raised to power 1. And uh, none of the result will come to this column 8 raised to power 0 because 8 raised to power 1 is the minimum weight that we can have. So we will start writing our results from this column. 1 multiplied by 7 is 7 and 7 is definitely an octal number. Now we will add these results. Let's see what we have. In this column we only have 4. 6 plus 2 is 8 and again 8 is not an octal number so we have to break 8 like this 1 multiplied by 8 plus 0 this 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry so we have 0 and 1 is the carry 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 7 is 9 9 is again not an octal number so we will break 9 like this 1 multiplied by 8 plus 1 so 1 is the sum and 1 is the carry so finally we have 1 here and 1104 is the answer of this octal multiplication. Now we will move to second example and in this example we have to multiply 357 by 2, 3. We will repeat the same procedure. I will first multiply 357 by 3. 7 multiplied by 3 is 21. 21 is not an octal number so we will break it like this. 2 multiplied by 8 plus 5. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, 16 plus 5 is 21. So this 2 is the carry and 5 is the result that we have after the multiplication. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 and 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 is again greater than 7 so it is not an octal number. So we have 1 here and 2 will go as carry. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and 9 plus 2 is 11. Again we will break 11 like this, 1 multiplied by 8 plus 3, 3 will go here and 1 will go as carry and finally we have 1, 3, 1, 5 and uh, when we multiply 3, 5, 7 by 2 we have to start writing results from this position, 2 multiplied by 7 is 14 and we have already seen how to write 14, 6 will come here and 1 will go as carry, 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11 and we have already seen how to write 11. 3 will come here and 1 will go as carry. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 is an octal number. So this is what we have and now we will add them. 5 will come here. 1 plus 6 is 7. 3 plus 3 is 6 and 1 plus 7 is 8. And 8 we have to write like this. 0 is the sum and 1 is the carry. So finally we have 10675 as the answer. I hope you now know how to multiply two octal numbers and now we will move to homework problem. In first homework problem you have to multiply 6, 3 by 2, 4 and in second homework problem you have to multiply 6, 3, 5 by 5, 5. So this is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.